So friends, today I am now going to discuss a very important topic that is equation of motion under central force. So let's start discussion. So first of all, what we have to understand that is uh, what is central force? That is how we can know that it is central force or not. So first of all, we are, uh, we are coming to the definition of the central force. So what is that? Actually the definition of central force always tells us that that if a force such that if a force such that it acts on a particle it acts on a particle in such a manner that it is always directed towards or away from the fixed center and its magnitude depends on the distance r from the center and then it is called central force okay by definition you can't understand i'm telling you by elaborately that is if let us consider a central force if a part is a central force it is always directed away or towards ever towards what the center away or towards or away from a fixed center fixed center that is the central force depends uh, such a way that it depends on away or towards from a fixed center and its magnitude depend only on the distance r um, that means central force magnitude depends on the distance r and mathematically how can we write it mathematically we write that in such a way that a force f is such that f of r into r hat that means f of r to r vector by r it is the mathematical uh, representation of the central force where f of r this is is the function of distance only that is function of r only and r hat r hat is a unit vector along r vector from along r vector from the fixed center the force is attractive or repulsive that means that means if the central force is such that if central force less than zero that means if central force less than zero then it will be attractive force <clears throat> if central force greater than zero then it will be repulsive force that's it that means uh, if we can say if let us consider uh, a central force a conservative force central force uh, central force uh, another point central force always a conservative force i forgot it to say central force a conservative force now what we can say we can say another point <laughs> that what we know uh, between force and the potential that f equals minus of grad v gradient of v that means we know if we can write f of r equals in such a way that minus gradient of v in one dimension what can be it written minus del v by del r that means that means we can write f of r that means we can write in such a way that let me write clearly f of r that is minus del v by del r and in vector uh, in vector form we can write in such a way that is f equals minus del v by del r and r vector by magnitude of r f vector that is the uh, if uh, central for uh, if central force depend how on the potential energy v that is the relation now potential energy for central force it is also depending on r distance and hence the system poses what when a potential energy of the central force v depends on r it also poses spherical symmetry let me write it also poses spherical symmetry symmetry 
central force depends only on arc then it also possesses spherical symmetry thus a rotation about a fixed axis will not affect will not have any effect on the solution and angle coordinate for rotation about a fixed axis about will be cyclic means what means what what i am trying to say that is as central force depends only on the coordinate arc and polar coordinate we you know what r theta phi uh, it is for uh, spherical polar coordinate for cylindrical rho phi z we know na so for polar coordinate we know that this angle angular dependency this angular dependency are coming but what we are coming to know here we have come to know that central force depends only on distance not on theta not on phi that means no angular dependence of central force that means any rotation about the fixed axis will not have any effect on the solution of the central force an angle coordinate for rotation about a fixed axis will be cyclic why cyclic that means theta phi this uh, rotational coordinate will not be present in the lagrangian that's why this coordinate will be cyclic because it is depending only on what it is depending only on the distance r that's why central force uh, potential of the central force possesses spherical symmetry that's it potential uh, energy of the central force possesses spherical symmetry yeah now uh, as we come to know then what will be the momentum momentum of the central force momentum of the system under central no momentum what we know main definition momentum equals r cross p and r cross p equals a constant vector constant vector quantity now if we take dot product with uh, this angular momentum if we take dot product with this angular momentum what we will get r dot r cross p that means zero it is uh, coming with zero because dot and cross interchange for vector quantity as we know r so we can write if we take dot product r dot j that's it that we can write here r dot r cross p now dot and cross interchange and we can write r cross r dot p now these things are zero so that is zero now so we can uh, say here that r dot j is zero r dot j is zero what it is what is the interpretation of this r dot j is zero what we can interpret from here that means r vector is perpendicular to j vector constant j vector that means motion of the particle under central force always takes in a plane that is the important thing here that means here what we can learn we can learn that position vector is perpendicular to the momentum vector position vector is perpendicular to the momentum vector that implies what that implies that motion of the particle under central force takes in a plane it happens in a plane so what we conclude from here from here we can conclude that motion of a particle under central force takes in a plane yes that's the thing that means motion of the particle under central force takes in a plane this is the important thing about central force now we will discuss about the equation of motion under central force for this first i will uh, draw a vector draw a curve that is here p one here let us consider it is p bar point here p here p bar d theta d theta and these things are d theta because what we know the relation between arc and the radius of anything ac equals r theta so 
this is the radius if this is the radius vector r and it is a d theta so this portion will be r d theta because always remember this relation s equals r theta arc s is the arc r is the radius and theta is that at this angle so now we'll discuss uh, equation of motion under central force and the first integral first integral means what now what we know from the equation of motion under central force f equals a for into r hat that is f equals a for into r vector by r and uh, from here what we can write we can write that minus del v by del r minus del v by del r r vector by r now in case of lagrangian now for equation of motion first what we will have to do first we have to take the lagrangian now one thing you have to know what is the lagrangian uh, kinetic energy of uh, any in polar coordinate i am trying to say what is the kinetic energy in polar coordinate first we have to know that for lagrangian what we need t and v that is kinetic energy and potential energy so first we have to know that what is the kinetic energy in plane polar coordinate in plane polar coordinate kinetic energy is we can write for mass point uh, for mass m when write kinetic energy is given by first we can write t equals half m r dot square r square theta dot square <coughs> r half m r square r half m r dot square r square theta dot square this is a kinetic energy uh, this is the kinetic energy in uh, central force so in case of under central force we can write t equals half m r dot square r square theta dot square okay that's a kinetic energy and uh, for central force potential energy what it poses spherical symmetry that is only v of r so what we can write from here lagrangian lagrangian under central force we can write l equals t minus v l equals t minus v so we can write what half m r dot square r square theta dot square minus v of r that is the lagrangian under the central force lagrangian of the system in central force so now uh, from this equation what we can say here it is r dependency is here r dot is here theta dot is here r is here but what is uh, not here what is not present here here what is not present here theta is not present theta not present theta not present but theta dot is present that means what here theta is cyclic cyclic coordinate theta is cyclic coordinate means what so what we can write if theta is cyclic coordinate so canonical momentum corresponding to theta is what p theta that is we can write del l by del theta dot that is m r square theta dot if we differentiate that lagrangian half m r dot square plus r square theta dot square then we can we are getting m r square theta dot this is the uh, which is the angular momentum so that's it for today guys we'll discuss more in our next lecture